Haters gonna hate, but John Cena isn't putting up with it. He has some harsh words for anyone who says it's time for the Fast Saga to reach the finish line. The Fast and Furious franchise currently consists of 11 movies, a TV show, and a theme park ride. The franchise kicked off in 2001, and since then, the Vin Diesel-led series has evolved into a cross-cultural juggernaut. As such, some people believe that the saga has overstayed its welcome and think it should end as a result. However, John Cena, who plays Jacob Toretto in F9 and Fast X, isn't one of those critics. Cena recently sat down with Extra and discussed the longevity of the Fast and Furious franchise. He compared its ongoing success to one of WWE's longest-running annual events, noting that people are fine with ongoing brand events if the quality is strong. He said, Having just performed at the 39th installment of WrestleMania, my philosophy is as long as it's good, that's all that matters. Fast, continuously, and you got box office data to back it up, continuously entertains the world installation after installation. The Fast and Furious movies always deliver at the box office, indicating that plenty of moviegoers want to keep living life a quarter mile at a time. To date, the franchise has grossed over $6 billion for Universal Pictures. With such steady box office receipts, especially in international markets, it's no surprise that the Fast fam and studio want to continue their cash cow to the very end. That being said, Cena believes that people who want to see the franchise run out of gas are misinformed about what goes on behind the scenes. Cena is used to lending his talents to misunderstood art forms. With Fast and Furious, he's part of an over-the-top action franchise that some people have grown tired of. Tan and cars. <laughs> Meanwhile, as a wrestler, he's been criticized for participating in a sport that has predetermined outcomes and soap opera-esque storylines. At the end of the day, the car chase saga and WWE are vastly different entities, but Cena has noticed some similarities between their respective critics. I compare it to a fan who says, but isn't wrestling fake? They just don't understand what we do, and they just don't understand what this is about. The Fast X star went on to say that these films deserve to keep being made as long as the quality remains exceptional and fans keep demanding more installments. Cena concluded by saying that the naysayers of the Fast and Furious franchise in WWE have the right to express their views. However, he reiterated that their criticisms don't consider the perspective of the fans and performers. Despite what franchise naysayers and haters say, Fast and Furious has more than enough gas left in its tank to continue on for several more years. A sequel to Fast X with director Louis Leterrier will race into cinemas in 2025, with a script co-penned by the Flash writer Christina Hodson. According to franchise Stuart Vin Diesel, Fast 11 isn't the end of the road for Dominic Toretto and his ever-expanding family. Should Diesel's wishes manifest, audiences will also receive a Fast 12, which should close out the trilogy set up by Fast X. Could there be even more Fast and Furious beyond that? That's anyone's guess. But Cena is right. Box office receipts do dictate the future of the franchise. If audiences continue to show up for more of the Toretto clan's shenanigans, the franchise will live on. Will that future include John Cena? Man, I hope so. That's way above my pay grade, but I hope so. <laughs>